हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट वंस अगेन यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम इन माय यूट्यूब चैनल वाइड लूप रोबोटेक एंड ऑटोमेशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू प्रोग्राम एडीसी इंटरप्ट विद डीएमए यूजिंग एस टी एम थर्टी टू क्यूब एम एक्स एंड एस टी एम थर्टी टू क्यूब आई सो लेट एस गेट स्टार्टेड स्टेप बाई स्टेप दिस इज स्कीमेटिक डायग्राम यू कैन सी आई एम यूजिंग हियर ए जीरो पिन दिस इज पी ए जीरो पिन दिस इज एनोलॉग इनपुट एंड टू जेनरेट एनोलॉग सिग्नल आई एम यूजिंग हियर पोटेंशियोमीटर पोटेंशियल मीटर रिक्वायर थ्री पॉइंट थ्री वोल्ट एंड ग्राउंड ओके सो इट्स आउटपुट गोज टू पी ए जीरो पिन ओके लेट एस सी प्रोग्रामिंग नाउ आई विल क्रिएट हियर न्यू प्रोजेक्ट गो टू फाइल एंड न्यू एंड एस टी एम थर्टी टू प्रोजेक्ट क्लिक ऑन बोर्ड सेलेक्टर टाइफ हियर न्यूक्लियो एफ फोर वन वन सेलेक्ट दिस and next type here project name adc interrupt with dma okay and finish yes some pins are assigned already go to pin out and right click over here clear pin outs okay and yes now go to analog and click on adc1 select in0 channel 0 and go to its parameter setting this is 12 bit adc and scan conversion mode okay continuous conversion mode will be enable okay rest of the setting is okay if you want to change you can change its sampling time so now it is minimum 3 cycle per sample okay now go to dma settings and click on add select adc1 and select here circular mode now rest of the setting is okay now click on nvix setting check this okay now configuration is done click on save it will generate the code yes yes code is generating okay code has been generated first of all i'll call the function hall adc star dma and pass here adc handle address of adc handle and now address of adc buffer and size is 1 okay f now i will declare this variable uint 32 underscore t defined with 0 okay now call the function hall adc start interrupt here pass the address of adc handle okay now define the adc callback function so go to drivers and hall drivers okay and source and then go to and open the hall adc dot c file okay there is adc callback function copy this this is earlier project main dot c file okay now paste here in this callback function we will get the adc value hall adc get value and pass here address of adc handle okay and assign its value to adc buff okay now again call the function hall adc start interrupt okay now assign 
this value means adc value into another variable okay declare here it will be volatile okay now code is ready i will just build this code build project okay okay there is zero errors and zero warnings now we will debug and click on debug click on debugger and stlink scan apply and okay nuclear board is connected so debugging will be started you can see in hardware okay now we will track this variable okay click on run you can see uh, adc count is printing here now i will rotate this potentiometer knob then adc count will be change see adc count is increasing okay its maximum value is up to 4095 because of it is 12 bit adc now i will in now i will decrease this adc count now it is zero okay okay friend so i hope you enjoyed this video if you really like this video so please do like subscribe and share thanks for watching